Hey guys, this is Jagan signing up from Tech Tutor. In this video podcast, we are going to see how to use named semaphore using POSIX P threads library. I am going to start with the thread dot head header. As we are going to use P threads, I am going to include P thread header, and then followed by semaphore header, followed by FC NTL header. which is required for sem open flags okay and i'm also going to be using some c++ headers like io stream for printing and uh, string for strings and uh, s stream for string manipulations and some of these functions are defined in the standard namespace i'm going to be using them i'm going to name the class as thread and let's go ahead and define some private attributes so i would like to have a name for the thread this would be used as a unique thread id and i would need some uh, total threads integer to compute the unique uh, thread id and apart from that i would also would like to have semaphore handle i would like to call this as lock and i would like to declare one thread constructor destructor and a method called start and i also would like to define some private methods like initialize semaphore release semaphore create thread also would like to have a method called trace this is for printing trace messages or debug messages and we also would like to have a p thread handle i would like to call it as thread handle let's go ahead and define the thread implementation i would like to include include the thread header and then start with the implementation thread constructor thread destructor thread start method thread initialize semaphore method and thread release semaphore thread create thread okay i would like to start with the constructor so in the constructor what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare a string stream this comes from that s s stream header i would like to call it as stream and i'm going to assign the total threads count here before that i would like to give some thread string here so that it looks good as well as it's more readable and i'm going to define some of the static uh, variables that i've declared here so one is uh, thread total threads i'm going to initialize initialize to 0 and then the semaphore ptr lock i'm going to assign to null okay so after this i'm going to assign this to the name thread name that's it after this i'm going to initial call the initialize semaphore so basically which would initialize the semaphore here okay once 
the destructor is called we would like to release the semaphore okay let's see how to initialize the semaphore so we have declared a lock so we will call the sem open followed by we would provide the sem name i think i have not declared this uh, this is going to be a character array so i'll call it as sem name okay followed by we have to supply the flag and this o underscore create flag comes from that fcntl header followed by the permission and then the fourth argument implies what is the how many semaphore slots you would like to have and i would like to provide one slot okay we are done and in this if the sem open has failed it is going to return sem underscore failed error code and we'll compare that with the lock if that is the case we're going to simply print an error message and then exit i'm going to say insufficient privilege please try executing with a sudo sudo user and i'm going to throw an exception throw new exception yeah so we have we are throwing an exception in case of this error and that's all we are done with the initialize semaphore now let's try to release the semaphore or here we'll try to close the semaphore ptr lock followed by we would like to unlink the semaphore this is going to be the semaphore name okay we are done with it release as well and now we can think of how to create the thread so we'll call pthread create and if you remember we have declared a variable called thread handle and i'm going to supply that followed by i'm happy with the default attributes so i'm going to supply null there as a second argument then comes our thread procedure which is going to be our run method and if you like to supply pass any argument to the thread you can pass here and i would like to pass the this object okay and as soon as we have created this thread i also would like to block this thread in the sense i would like to block the main thread to force the main thread to wait until this thread has done its job okay uh, p thread join and i'm going to supply the thread handle followed by null this null second argument indicates if you are interested in knowing the return status of this thread you can provide a variable here and you can check the return status i'm not interested in knowing the return status of this so i'm passing a null here okay so in this start method i'm going to call the create thread okay if you remember if you notice i have not defined the thread run method yet so i would like to define it here run and this is going to have the signature as indicated by the pthreads library and this is going to return a void pointer so i'm going to say 
first let's try to retrieve the thread object here ptr thread obj and i'm going to cast it from the param okay once we have got it we would be able to access the trace method or any of the member methods using this object so i'm going to call trace and i'm going to say waiting for sem lock okay and then i'm going to say sem wait followed by ptr lock again i'm going to say trace acquired sem lock and i'm going to put the thread to sleep for a couple of milliseconds and followed by thread obj i'm going to say released sem lock and i'm going to say sem post so this would release the sem of our lock once we are done i'm going to say p thread exit to indicate a normal exit gracious exit we're done let me see if i have defined the declared the run method looks like i have not declared the run method and it's going to be a static void param void pointer and i'm going to call this as run and it's going to take a void param pointer and uh, we also need to define the name right semaphore name so i would like to declare a character array and i would like to call it as sem name okay i'm done let me go to the thread cpp and define that this thread character and it's going to be sem name it's an array and i'm going to say tech tutor sem lock is going to be the lock name sem of our lock name you can define whatever you would like to have and i'll proceed with the main i'm going to include thread dot h okay and i'm going to create three threads t1 t2 t3 and i'm going to start these threads by calling the thread start okay and i'm going to compile it now we have these main.cpp thread.cpp and thread header gcc main.cpp followed by thread.cpp followed by lst std c++ this will link the standard c++ library and then lp thread for linking the p thread library and then lrt for the semaphore okay looks like there is some compilation error it says at line number 32 error expected a bracket 32 okay looks like we have additional flower brace there so that is removed now and the sleep was not declared in this scope okay i'm going to include the uni std header for the sleep okay so it says undefined reference thread trace because we have not defined the trace method so i'm going to define it now void thread trace which will take a string message so i'm going to say see out the thread name 
followed by one space followed by the message followed by dot dot this is not required you can ignore it okay fine let's compile yeah it's compiled now i'd like to i'd like to try this without a sudo access without a super user access so it says insufficient privilege okay so this seems to work as expected so now i am going to try with the sudo user it says thread one waiting yeah so it seems to work as expected apart from this i would also like to show a different demo using this application i would like to create another i would like to open another terminal training podcast okay i'd like to say a dot out so basically i would like to launch two instances of this application side by side so basically this works across process as well that is the whole intention behind using named semaphore that's it and uh, if you are not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe so that you will get notified for more such videos thank you